So I was 12 years old, lost in the laughter of a grade school classroom. Our career goals were the topic of discussion, still unsure how my teacher expected us to answer her question. Ronald, she asked, and what would you like to be for the rest of your life? I replied with a mouthful of licorice and said, a dentist. I barely had enough teeth to complete the conversation, but knew I loved to see people smile. My teachers would always tell me, if you want to be successful, you need a college degree. If you want to beat the streets, you need a college degree. If you want people to respect you, you need a college degree. But getting me to do anything academic was literally like pulling teeth. Despite all that, I was still accepted into a four-year institution. Nobody told me what to expect, but everybody was happy I was going. My mother, my father, my grandma, her neighbors, my uncle. My uncle was so proud. He too was accepted into an institution. Priority acceptance is the Folsom State Penitentiary, his major, domestic violence. The counselor says he's on an eight-year plan, but the judge predicts he'll be a lifelong student. When people ask, I tell them he attends a private institution, like a USC or a Stanford. I mean, the only real difference is the price of tuition. The average annual cost of an inmate is $30,000 a year. We pretend he is on a parcel scholarship, so every month we put money on his books and pray that the government covers his room and board. Maybe he'll get a corner room, like in a college dorm, somewhere to spend his solitary time. We don't even call it prison anymore. He just studying abroad at maximum security, military-style boarding school with a really bad meal plan, great medical, and even worse work-study conditions, hiring low-income students for high-demand labor at 95 cents before deductions. So to me, from my point of view, me and my uncle are just two struggling college students seeking enlightenment and a system meant to recycle, reduce, and reuse our minds until somehow our mental health becomes the only topic on our final exam. And there are no tutors to help him study. My uncle, who's made money for corporations, I refuse to review his resume when he gets out. If he gets out, I keep saying my uncle because sometimes we forget inmates are still human. Kind of like when they say students are failing the system. As if the system isn't failing three-fifths of our population. And I question, but we've seen what happens when black boys raise their hands in the air. We've watched police bullets leave degrees across their chest. We've seen black mothers place deferments on the child's death, release dates, or the caps and gowns that we hardly ever receive. Black students are five times more likely to be accepted into a private institution. And I wonder how so many of us became college bound. Next time I'm asked what I'm going to be for the rest of my life, maybe I'll say a plumber or, or a construction worker. That way I can build my own pipeline, one that doesn't consume our bodies.